What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode here, Heartletics, with your man, your host, Coach Joe. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking all about the light at the end of the tunnel. Because, guys, at the end of the day, I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to help you take action, right? But also uh, inform you about the reality of what it's like. So I understand, okay? You have this goal, okay? And maybe right now, that goal, it's like this little light at the end of the tunnel. You can see it out there in the distance, but it's underneath a lot of darkness, okay? It's it's clouded, it's shaded, right? It's very hard to see, to spot out. There's very, it's uncertain, right? But you can still see it out there. That's great, because at the end of the day, you always need that, right? Don't ever lose sight on your vision. And like, here's the reality, okay? This is your life and you can have whatever you want. You can be whoever you want. You can have whatever kind of life that you want as long as you have that little light at the end of the tunnel. Now, the bigger the goals, right? Obviously, there's a lot more darkness, okay? And so in terms of the light at the end of the tunnel, what is this darkness? Well, let's just relate this to health and fitness, you know, if you guys don't know anything about Heartletics, you know, what I do as a coach, you know, visit Heartletics.com. You can learn more about how we help, you know, guys over 40 years old change and transform their lives, not just physically, but mentally as well, having more confidence and becoming the best version of themselves. So let's relate this to health and fitness, right? And let's say that you have your goal. Maybe your goal is I want to lose a hundred pounds, right? It's a big goal. Okay. And Here's in terms of that darkness, right? The darkness, right, is going to come from outer surroundings. So maybe that's like people discouraging you. Maybe it's, you know, um, situations in terms of like you're surrounded with, let's say, people that are, and this is what we always, we always say, like you become like your surroundings. You become like the people that you hang around the most. So maybe you're hanging around with friends or maybe your family members, like they don't care about their health. And so it's very hard, right? There could be a lot more darkness as opposed to if you're trying to lose 100 pounds, but you're hanging around with a bunch of people that were in shape and were going to the gym and working out. So you can see in there, right? Like depending on the outer experience, right? That environment, your surroundings, you could have a lot more darkness. But also internally, guys, sometimes we're our own biggest critic. Sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Sometimes we get this sense of hope, this sense of passion, and maybe we create a goal for ourselves, like losing 100 pounds, but then something happens, right? Where we feel ambitious, maybe for a day or two, maybe for a week or two, but then something happens, right? And maybe it's we're doing the wrong things and we end up falling off the wagon. Maybe it's that bad wolf, right? That's constantly saying like, hey, you've tried this plenty of times before in the past and it hasn't really worked. You should probably just give up now. Stop wasting your time. Maybe this is also like life's distractions, right? And, you know, life's curveballs, stress maybe even. You know, there could be so many other things where something happens where you just start mentally talking yourself out of it. Like literally, you have this goal, you feel ambitious because... And that sense of urgency, that sense of like, you know what I'm feeling. It's kind of like butterflies where you have this goal. And you're like, oh, yeah, if I achieve this goal, this is going to be great, right? Like that's you finally feeding the good wolf, right? That's you finally believing in yourself. And it feels great. And that, sh that feeling should feel like that every single day because you should constantly be in alignment with your goals and constantly believe that it's possible, right? That's why you feel so amped up and so ambitious. But we always say it like this. You're a creature of your habits. And sometimes that bad wolf, because we have bad habits and we've had bad habits. Let's say you've been struggling with your health and fitness journey for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. He's going to start creeping in, you know, because we haven't trained, right, to feed the good wolf long enough to create sustainability. So first and foremost, in order to succeed, right, with having that picture, having that goal, that light at the end of the tunnel. What you need to understand first and foremost is that your mental image, right? Your mindset, who you believe you can become, not who you are now, but who you believe you can come 
is going to make that light a lot bigger and brighter as long as you have a firm, solid belief, a foundation of faith, I like to say. And what is faith? It's sometimes, you know, believing in something that you just can't see, you know? There's, like, let's face the facts here, people. This is life. This is the reality. You're going to have your good days. You're going to have your bad days. You know, you're going to have days where, you know, things are great, right? And you're in love with life. And then you're going to have other days where you're like, what gives? I feel like I can't catch a break. It's just one bad thing after another, you know? But I always say this, that sometimes like these roadblocks, right? Are kind of like life's, you know, little test. They're not here to, you know, stay for the rest of your life, but they are here to test you. You know, and you got to think about it, like to build that mental muscle, are you ready for the test? Are you actually facing the test, right? Think about that as like these little like mental workouts. You know, you go to the gym, you're putting in the reps, right? To look better with your shirt off, to have more muscle, you know, burn more body fat. Well, guess what? Like, don't you think to build your mental muscle, you need to also work out and train that? Don't you think it's also, you know, showing up to battle and having the reps, you know? Like, think about it. You know, that's why I'm such a big, big firm believer that you need to have a routine, something, right? I don't want to just say morning routine, right? Just because I talked about that a few a few episodes back, but realistically a routine where day in and day out, you are doing something to focus on your mental muscle, building up those reps, you know, building up that muscle, working it out. So that way when life throws you these curveballs, right? These tests, these little battles, you can easily get through them. You can easily surpass them, you know? And I think that's one of the coolest things about life. And when you have this mental shift and understand that, that it's supposed to be hard at times. It's supposed to be dark at times inside that tunnel where you can only see a little small speck of that light. And there's going to be other times where you can see that bright future ahead of you. Okay. That's life. The question is, when are you going to believe that you can actually achieve it and it's not always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel? You can actually get past the tunnel. You would not believe how many times I hear from guys that want to be successful, that want to have success, but what stops them isn't necessarily the, the curveballs life throws their way, right? Right? What stops them is themselves, unfortunately, where they built up such a strong willpower of feeding the bad wolf. And what is the bad wolf? That's the wolf that's going to tell you you're not good enough. That's the wolf that's going to constantly make up excuses as to why you can't get started and putting things off to the side. That's the wolf that's going to feed you every single lie that you want to hear. And that, my friends, is why that light is always going to be a light, right? It's always going to be a goal. Now, in order to get past that and get through the end of the tunnel, once again, you need to be working on yourself. You need to have that discipline, right? And the best way to understand that and to adapt to that is by once again, working on your mindset. That's why I'm such a huge believer in that. If you're working on your mindset, you know that it's gonna be you know, hard times, right? You know there are definitely gonna be some hard times, some adversities, but here's the thing. You're doing the right things each and every day, right? The right action steps, and it doesn't have to be hard. And this is what I firmly believe about creating sustainability, right? Creating habits that's gonna better aid you in this where you have a game plan, an action plan, but you know that even if you fall off the horse, right, you fall off the wagon, the next day you're just going to brush off your shoulders and get right back up. That is how you reach the light at the end of the tunnel. That is how you get through this tunnel and eventually reach your goals. And then guess what? You're going to learn how to create new goals for yourself because that's what life is. You know, we're never truly satisfied and that's okay. Right. I think that's a great thing because it's always making us learn more. It's always making us adapt. Right. As human beings. Right. I always say it like this. Your job should be just a sponge, you know, and just absorb, absorb, learn as much as you can. You know, knowledge is power. 
having those skill sets, right? Like will help you out so much more than somebody that doesn't have the knowledge, but rinse out right on that sponge, what doesn't work for you. Okay. So to recap, you know, this entire episode, right? Is the light at the end of the tunnel. Understand a few things like one, keep that light there, have that light there, but make sure that you're taking inspired action each and every day to making sure that we're not just staying there in that tunnel. And there's always going to be that light. We're actually trying to get to the end of this tunnel. Now, as you progress step by step to get through this tunnel, understand at times it's going to be dark. At times it's going to be bright. That's life. But when the dark times come, they're not coming to stay. They will surpass as long as you have the right mindset, as long as you're constantly working on yourself and you're not going to you know, wave the white flag and retreat and go back to your old ways. That's how you win. That's how you win at anything. You know, like if you just have just pure faith that it's all going to work out as long as you don't give up and each and every day you're consistent, I promise you in any aspect or any goal in life, you will achieve plain and simple. It's just that once again, you know, guys tend to believe like, okay, hey, I get this inspired action. But I'm so used to feeding that bad wolf, right? Where the bad wolf is going to be feeding some lies as to maybe why you can't be successful. The bad wolf is going to be feeding lies as to making up more and more excuses as to why you need to put off to the side. The bad wolf is what's ultimately going to make this tunnel a lot darker. So learn how to become your own best friend, honestly. Work on personal development. Work on improving yourself each and every day, not just physically, but most importantly, mentally as well, because that mental muscle that you can adapt to and build up, that's what's going to help you out in the big challenges that life faces you. Not just the small stuff, the big challenges. So how do we work on that? Focus on doing something, you know, focus on maybe gratitude or affirmations or visualizing your goals or meditation Focus on even some self-help things, you know, uh, simple things like you'd be surprised when you start feeling better, right? Feeling like mentally feeling better, not just like physically, but feeling better, just like, you know, less brain fog, having more energy, stuff like that. Just been sleeping more and drinking more water, you know, simple things like this. And, you know, I, I hate to tell, you know, say it how it is, but like, you know, I wish there was a fat loss pill that somebody could take and they would see results. You know, but at the end of the day, that's never going to exist. You know, it's never going to happen. If you want to make a change in your life, you have to commit to making that change, which means you have to start doing some things today that are different than what you've been doing tomorrow, yesterday. So you can have a better tomorrow. Let me repeat that. If you want to have a different, you know, outcome today, start doing things differently than how you were yesterday. So you can have a better tomorrow. Plain and simple. And once again, like, don't let that bad wolf feed to those lies. You know, at the end of the day, it gets so much easier to have the motivation, so much easier to have the willpower and so much, you know, of a, you know, better journey for you to have this brighter, you know, tunnel at the end of it. Uh, just from you start feeding the good wolf, you know, prioritizing yourself, taking the right action steps and doing the right things mentally, physically. It doesn't have to be hard. If you guys want to learn some sustainable habits, definitely just go over to hardletics.com, download the free fat loss guide. Inside there goes over the seven essentials to fat loss longevity. But understand guys, that this is life. And no matter what chapter you're on at life in your story, guess what? Like, you know, the bad guys, they're just one flip of the page, right? The end of the bosses, they're just one flip of the page, right? So we can easily flip that page onto a better chapter in our lives. Just remember, all right, to get through that, you got to be consistent. You got to put in the work each and every day and don't give up. Don't keep on reading the same chapter over and over again because you've been stuck the past 5, 10, 15 years struggling. You can always flip that page. You, you have my permission. You just need to make that commitment to prioritize yourself to start doing those things. So guys, take it for what it is. I hope you guys got some inspiration from today's episode. Remember, you know, 
Keep that light at the end of the tunnel. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. It's all going to work out as long as you don't give up. That's literally it, plain and simple. Other than that, I really hope you guys got some value. If you did, definitely share this on your social media page. And as always, guys, this has been Coach Joe with Heartletics.com. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>